My first official video interview is up. It is uploaded on YouTube. Fatty is Shade. Head over, subscribe, like, share. Head over, subscribe, like, and share on YouTube. My first official video interview. Please go now. Peace. I'm shocked. Really? Why? Damn, 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 damn. I wonder why you would be shocked, my it's friend. Out, I think it's Outcast. And I expect you to know Outcast. I do know Outcast. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Thaddeus Shade. This is Seasonable Clout. Um, this is my uh, uh, one, two, I think like my third uh interview. And uh, I'm up here with Davion GQ Jones. This is a friend of mine and somewhat of a family member. I don't trust him that much, but I do trust him that much. I'm just playing with you, man. How are you doing today, brother? I'm doing fantastic, brother. And I want to thank you for coming by the seasonable clap. I'm going to give a clap now. I think this is my clap button. I don't have my headphones, so I just got to clap. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know you were doing that. Yeah, I just kind of got to guess. Did you hear it? Yeah, I heard That's it. That's what's up, it man. It was clapping. Well, how are you doing today, brother? You know, uh, we're getting ready for the weekend, so I'm doing all right. We do, uh, we do start work tomorrow night, man. Yes, for the whole weekend, possibly, <laughs> possibly Sunday's coming, huh? Yeah, right. Hopefully, um, yeah. who do we got coming tomorrow though? Oh, Lloyd, we got Lloyd, R&B singer. It's, um, his, bir- it's, it's his birthday, right? It is. Ain't yeah. that your favorite R&B singer? No. Oh, come on, man. You go. Oh, he's bad. not. I can say it honestly, but he's oh, not. Okay. <laughs> I, I like Lloyd's music. That's how you. That's how you get out of that, man. When I was in college, he 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 has some he has some heat for me. He has some heat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where'd you go to college at? I went to NAU and I went to ASU. So you really went to college? I did, man. I had the full experience. Everybody was telling me you didn't go to college. Mm. You dropped out of high school and you were seven. You yeah, didn't, wasted you know. a lot of money. No, I'm just did you really? You yes. feel like it, bro? I'm a promoter. Yeah. Oh, I actually own a club now. I'm a, <laughs> yeah, but I'm still a promoter. Yeah, yeah we. Uh, I plan on really diving into all of that. Um, so, I, so tell me, where are you from first? Let's get, let's get some simple <laughs> stuff out of you're the way. Trying to be funny. That's why you're asking this question. Where this I'm from? Is, yeah, uh, from Germany. Germany. Yeah. You know what I have next, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nine. Nine. I found it out. Once I found out he was from Germany, Germany, I went and looked up what nine means. What it does means it mean? no. It means no. Does it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Nine. You know what I'm saying? When you have a kid, you'd be like nine. When you're trying to touch a plug or something. Nine. Okay, anyway. Uh born in Germany. What was that like? Uh I don't know. It had a lot of snow. Was it really? A lot of snow, that's all I remember. Snow and uh yellow boots, snow boots. Like, and uh, they used to have the people pushing the carts. Yeah, like uh, like food. Cart? Really? Know, yeah, you buy food, people pushing carts. Like street food out there? Yeah, this is probably like 1980, 1989, 90. Yeah, showing yeah. your age, yeah. man. How old were you like, to, how long were you there? I don't know, honestly, because I just found out I lived in Texas. Um, you just found out? I just found out I lived oh, in wow. Texas and I had no clue. Do you remember the, the Germany trip to Texas? No, not at all. No? No. But you, but you would feel like I was in a tornado. Had no clue. Really? Yeah, I lived in Oakland when that big earthquake happened in like ninety whatever year that was. Ninety. You remember the earthquake? Nah, they said I was on a little tricycle. Hold on, man. So you went from the 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 to nine to nine. Yeah. To (laughs) to gun toting Texas, right? And you to Oakland. To Oakland. Yeah. And you lived through an earthquake. I've never been in an earthquake. I'm terrified, bro. Listen, I don't listen. I don't remember it. Thank God. Yeah. (laughs) Because I feel like all the man manlyhood I have in me would leave <laughs> in an earthquake today. Would you ever move back uh, to Cali? Not Oakland. Just because of that? 
No, <laughs> it's not the reason why. <laughs> I don't think any. Now nah, I'll say that San Diego is the the place I would go. Yeah, San Diego's on yeah, my spot. That's, that's, that's my the, list, man. That's, that's the retirement my, place. That's my vacation spot right there. Yeah. You know, uh, parents are they were they from Germany? Germany or I mean, not nah, military? Military. Yeah. 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 What'd your man. dad serve in the military? What was he? You know, that's a good question. Both of them were in the army, though. Both your parents in the yeah. army. I didn't even know that, and I'm your friend for a decade. Uh, you assumed. For some reason, that women aren't in the army. It sounds like that's not wow. That's horrible. That's, I would never you, listen, you ladies only, and gentlemen. You only said my dad. You listen, know, both of them. I'm sorry about that, ladies. I didn't. I don't think like that. He's lying. He's a liar, and I wouldn't trust him. I do trust him. But um, so you made you made the Germany. You made the Texas. You made the Oakland, right? Yeah. And did you go to? Did, is that where you like teenage years grew up out no, in no, Oakland? No, no. Or you came out here to came Arizona? out here. Yeah, came out here to, and went to high school. Any specific here. reason why y'all came out here, or just? Yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever asked my parents that question. No, uh-huh. because the Air Force is here, so it wasn't that. Probably because it was cheap. Yeah, yeah. So you here in the Valley of the Sun? Been here it's hot while. than the sun, bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, what were some of the things you did? You you remember as a young teen? We talking? I always like to ask people the nostalgic stuff. We talking food? We talking TV shows? We talking cartoon? Give me give me something you remember as a kid or as a teenager you would eat. You had just had to have your you, you had to go get and, and, and chow down on. Man, uh, we we I didn't have no good chow down stuff. Only thing I remember growing up, we used to get the packets of Kool Aid yeah. and get about half the, the container of the sugar and just bow. <laughs> <laughs> diabetes in a cup. Uh, that's what I remember as a kid. Yeah, you Kool-Aid, had like Kool-Aid a Kool Aid in the morning. Kool Aid in the morning. Yeah, you was living. Morning. You was yeah. living like me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big old jug of Kool Aid. Me and my me and my partner. Man, I don't remember. I wasn't a big water drinker as a kid. It was only nah, like. Was, was did cool. you ever have the Tampico juice that gave you heartburn? I did have that. I remember Tampico. And that shit used to hit. It we was should, cheap. We should try hell. to find it again and bring it to the club. That's you just bringing poison. You know what I'm saying? Just poison. And on top of poison with that, I used, I used to get that pink. It used to give me heartburn, made my Man. eyes water. Have you had Hawaiian punch lately? Who Hawaiian punch? Have you had that lately? I haven't had that in a long time. I don't even know if it's still around. Yeah, that's all diabetes and a good, good, good cup of fructose corn syrup. I don't mind it though. But you didn't, once, you wasn't into month. the once a month. You good? You can deal with it. <laughs> you wasn't into the ramen noodles back when you was a kid. You wouldn't turn up the ramen noodles or nothing like that. Dry ramen noodles. We Dry. Even, yeah, we didn't even do the water. I Did you peep that. in uh, brother's son? She that's what she was basically doing. She would get the the noodles, crunch them up, put them in a the bag, put the seasoning in there, all, and eat all them. All I know about brother's son is that I can't say that. Um, only the only thing I know about brother's <laughs> son is <laughs> just the food was incredible in that TV show. The food was incredible. Yeah, it just made me realize why. Yeah, yeah. I got you. You got a, you got a thing yeah. for Asian women. I got you. We'll get on in and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you stuck now. You was you got to understand, ladies and gentlemen. Before this happened, this guy. I told you, you know, hey, hey, I warned you. He wanted to go, you go to, there. I'm gonna burn it down. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. He really wanted to get into all that, but um. So we, <laughs> brother, son was a good. It's Netflix, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not seen that show. It's fantastic. Brothers, it's fantastic. Please fire it up immediately and enjoy yourself. Shade, I um, hope you don't get mad at me while I do this, but it's... Uh, no, you can do whatever, man. It's cool. This is my shit. We good, man. You have, have fun. Enjoy yourself, man. Um, what do you have right here? This is some wine that I still don't have my cup for. Oh, oh, shit. Just, you yeah. know what? Um, tell them a story, and I'm going to get the cup of... So we started drinking red wine uh, because I was in the club drinking way too much. And you know we gotta we gotta get a replacement for this this liquor. So we do red wine. It's good for the blood. It's good for the heart. So everybody that's old, yeah, actually, everybody, people ain't even old no more. People that are having some issues with their blood. Oh, look at this! This is from the gods. You good? I don't. Yeah, it's good. Ain't nothing in there. Oh, okay. Got a sippy cup. That's what's up. How's the straw? No, nah, we're not gonna use the straw. Actually, straws are kind of hard to clean. Um. Yeah. Oh um, shit! Yes. <laughs> if you are having some troubles and you need a, an alcohol replacement, red wine is your friend. Yeah, yeah. Look at how, you pour. You pour like you work in the club too. That's what's up. That was a little sensitive, but you pour like you work in the club. Just a little. And why? Why did you even before we even continue? Why did you even switch to red wine? Though? Did you tell him why? No, because it's good for your blood. It's, it's good, good for, for your the blood. heart. You felt, I think it's really good for the heart. Actually, did you talk to him? Can Can I talk to him about that? Why you even? I, I gave him a little snip. Oh, snippet. you did. Okay, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you, you can jump in. It. You know it. You know everything. Yeah, you you said you were you, your blood pressure was high, right? Yes, extremely. It was yeah. extremely high. There was a uh, in the doctor's office, like, hey, young man, uh, you had lost weight from the last time we seen you. 
and your blood pressure was high. You feeling dizzy? And I was like, no, I'm dizzy. What's up? The doctor walked in. He was like, yeah, <laughs> cut that drinking out. What did he say? Cut that, cut that shit out. Really? Like, okay, I got you. Yeah. So mm-hmm. from March of last year, all the way up to the probably like August, September, yeah, we was on that red wine. Really? Yeah. The yeah. last couple months, though. <laughs> you got <laughs> Adam, that poison got back in me, so I had to change it up. Oh uh, man, where did I leave off at? You remember? Mm, we were man, talking about nine. You, I thought if you remember. Anyway, we were talking about brother son, the, the TV brother show. For we were probably, to watch oh, it. yeah, it hit me. But we, we're, we were talking about brother son, mm-hmm. and uh, you wanted to bring up why you think. I love Asian women. Well, well, hold on, hold on. So, yes. you, look at you, anxious to get to it. Anxious to get to it. Team wise, team wise, though. Uh, uh, were you a sports fanatic? Did you you grow up playing sports? Play basketball. Yeah. You know what, man? We're going to go back to I did taekwondo. We did, did you gym, really? Gymnastics. You're going to be so mad at me right now. Bro, I didn't. Um, you did gymnastics? I didn't I know did. none of this. I I'm did. not mad at you for doing gymnastics. No, 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 no not that reason. Um, I've seen you whoop a lot of ass. I know what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you getting uh, hot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's not what the reason I was about to say that. Um That's not the reason I was saying that though. What were we talking about? When did you learn Taekwondo? Oh, Taekwondo. Yeah. Bro, I used to be able to like, man, this shows my age. We used to be able to jump in the air, like do a move, and I'd be able to do the splits. Bow, easy. Yeah. 100 push ups, easy. And uh yeah, them days are over. But yeah, we did Taekwondo and then it turned me into basketball. Really? Played basketball all the way till about college. And then. Is that what got you to college? Basketball got you to college? <sighs> Pretty much. That's yeah. why I went to NAU to try to play ball out oh, there. Okay. That's dope. Yeah. So when you got to NAU, man, how was that college life? How long were you there in NAU? Um, two years. Two years. Two and a half years. It's cold up there, right? Yeah. It's much like, much it's like, like negative, Flagstaff, right? It's like negative or it's five. in Flagstaff, right? It's like negative five degrees out there right now. Negative five? Yeah. Woo. Yeah, Wee. it is. Did it ever get that bad while you up there? A couple times. Ooh. A couple times it got real cold out here and it actually snowed. Uh, snowed in Phoenix, but it was more like Bell Road. I think okay. that's what the snow ended. Okay. Shay, right. let me ask you a question. Yep. Why every time I come over here, you don't like turning your AC? Your AC? Well, so so check this out. Okay. I ha- actually haven't had anybody I, in here. It hasn't been hot like that. And I okay. apologize. I actually heard it like- Greg said it. Yeah, he did say it, and I meant to turn the AC on, and I got you. I'm trying to see this. (laughs) Oh, wait. It's it's a... Wait. Wait, do it again. Oh, it's going now. I got to do it. Hold on. But uh, so I did notice it was hot. I just forgot to hit the AC. Mm. So now the AC's on. Now you can feel good. It's all right, man. I'm supposed to be comfortable in here, you know? You about to be real comfortable, man. It's okay. So you did did basketball at NAU. Mm -hmm. Um, You did two years up there. Yeah, and I had to get up out of there. So how do we get to... Davion, the promoter. What's going on, man? You guys. Are... Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm sorry. You no. Know? Okay. Well, how do we get to Davion, uh, the promoter? Davion GQ Jones. How do we get there? How did I get to promote? Um, I was passing out flyers out there for my trainer, my today trainer. Now his name is Jay Jay Stray. Uh, he was a promoter. Shout out to Jay Stray. Yeah, I man, actually he's, know who he's, he's buff a, motherfuckers. He's a you solid want, human. Yeah. You want some uh, training? You go to Jay Stray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll he'll make sure you good. Um. But yeah, man, he was doing parties out there. He did something like Lil Wayne, did a Playboy party. He was, he was solid. So I was the flyer guy. Yeah. Um, took some of his knowledge, brought it down here. Me and him, a couple of my fellas, we brought Too Short. I think Too Short was our first event. That was y'all. That was your first your first event by yourself. Me and like three other three of my. But friends. it was your name. And yeah, everything yeah, that's where that. Team GQ came from. It's actually uh, Team it was me and somebody else that owned it. Um, and yeah, we we did a party. It was cool. Uh, it was cool. How much was uh, too short at the time like to get him? Five grand. You got him for five grand. Yeah, it was extremely cheap. Dude. Really? Yeah, it was extremely cheap. Wow. Um, not no more. Yeah, it's not, uh, not, at <laughs> not all. no more. It was crazy. It's probably even more relevant back then. But you know, uh, price went up <laughs> for everything. Really? Um, yeah, that we did like Uncle Luke. That was our last party. So okay, so too short was first. Yeah. And where'd you? Do you remember where you did it at? Jaguars. The Jag- show club. Okay, got you. Yeah. So it was that. It was it was it busy? Was it packed out? Was that a home run? It was packed. Yeah, yeah. Both all of our events did real well. We did day twenty six. If, if y'all. So wait. So 
You go too short. No, we, did, we actually did day 26 first. Day 26 first. Yeah. Then we did too short. Too short. Uncle Luke. Oh, and we had Bobby V. Yeah, Bobby. So you did like four or five events. Four or five. No, four events at Jags. And these were all one-offs pretty much. Mm-hmm. Once a month. Once a month. And you worked that out. Did you work that out with Jaguars or did somebody else work that out? Uh, probably me and my partner. Yeah, I'm very yeah. interested because you're you very smart numbers yeah. and do, people oh, love you. You do deals see. really well. So I was curious on who who set that up. You all right? The AC coming on, man. No, you good. No, I'm talking about the deal. The deal wasn't. Oh. It was it was a horrible. It wasn't no, <laughs> it a horrible was, deal. Not that great was, of a deal. It was OK at the time. OK. For the yeah, times, it, yeah, was okay. it was OK. I was the only person doing stuff at Jags, though. So that's really where when I did my first actual club event, it did real, real well because it transferred over. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you two we said two short day twenty six. Um, you said Bobby V. I'm missing one in there. Two short Uncle Luke. Uncle Luke. Yeah. Listen, Uncle how Luke was, was Uncle Luke, Luke bro? Inside of a strip club, and that was our last strip club event. That was it. Why? Because it was. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah the part the party got shut down. My man got on stage and was like, "We're gonna have the longest pussy eating contest of all time." <laughs> So he started lining strippers. Wait, continue. <laughs> he, started, he, started, he started lining up strippers on stage to eat pussy. And uh, I remember the owner. Was he the owner of the club or the GM at the time? The GM at the time. And yeah. he ran up, up there. I was like, nah, I snatched that mic up. Like, yeah, this motherfucker over. We not eating. No, really? We have no pussy eating in the club tonight. Damn, yeah. he had it on. And that, and that was it? Well, technically, bro, if people walk in there, you just see people just eat pussy on stage. You know, Jack's got that big stage, like the whole yeah. crowd can see it. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been a bad, bad thing. Damn. Yeah, it was legendary times, so. though. Good times, though? Yeah. So you, we look up and you done did four or five of them good things at mm-hmm. Jaguars. I'm assuming you had made great money versus what you was making in the NAU days. Bro, I was selling shoes out of a trunk, so yes. Really? Yeah. Is that some of the things you did when you was making some money up there, selling shoes out of the trunk? Shoes. Uh, the fake Jordans. It was the, the good. You selling, you were selling good, people fake Jordans. Good man? quality. You were selling people good fake Jordans. Quality. Man. Hey, jump man. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know the CDs, DVDs. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to have the baby making music CDs for everybody. Man. You had your own mix. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> what, what was, was like, you? Was you writing markers on? Uh, writing sure. what, what was you writing on there? Uh, probably like baby making project. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, I was the, the R and B god out there. That's crazy. Yeah. You still call yourself the R and B guy? We I don't am. believe it, but you know. And it's a way to prove it. Uh, <laughs> if you pull out one of them goddamn uh, baby making projects, man, I'll believe you. But you ain't got a disc to prove it. I don't believe it, man. So, OK, we look up. You got those events. How do you move in to, you know, to nightlife? How do you get into a weekly situation? Because a lot of people, Crazy. a lot of lot, you have a lot of guys, girls, they ask, how do you get into nightlife? It's a to me, it's a very hard thing to do. But you know, you tell them your journey, and you it's know, crazy. I, I was just looking at these pictures last night. Uh, I threw a Halloween party, and yeah, I threw a Halloween party at Mist. You remember Mist? I do remember Mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did a party there, a one off, and man, we had like we probably had like a thousand people show up. It you gotta tell people where where Mist was. Where is it? At? Mist nightclub is now where Maya is. Yeah. Yeah. So if people don't know Old Town Scottsdale, if you've never been to Old Town Scottsdale, it's just you call it a square or yeah, like a square, right? It's just yeah. full of full of bars and clubs. Yeah, and hotels. And at yeah. the time it was even better. They just now it's like hotels and stuff. I think it was like at the time the W is still there, right? The W and A loft, and that's it. And that was it. And it was just yeah. nothing but clubs and bars and it was mayhem. But you said you threw one at uh Mist, right? Yeah, I did Halloween party and like I said, we had yeah, probably like yeah, like nine hundred people show up. Nine hundred? Yeah, it was crazy, crazy event. Um, and then the week later, they called me into a meeting. Them, uh, people probably don't even know this name. This guy Les, Les is like the owner of all those clubs. Yeah, uh, called me into a meeting and was like, "Yeah, um, we have this place called Suede, and we have the club that you just did your you know your event at missed. Uh, our Fridays are good, but our Saturdays." are kind of not good. Right. And then our Fridays at Suede are not good either. You, you want to take them both? And just handed me, he pretty much handed me the keys. Like, here, you're the promoter for both these clubs now. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, less is less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if the story, if people actually know who he is, is absolutely crazy. Um, Because they don't know who I am. They don't know what I do. 
they knew me throwing one party. Yeah. I said, come on, young black man, come uh, here, take this. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, and it was, uh, I've been promoting ever since then. Yeah, I can't, I can't say much, but if I could say all the jokes that I want to make, <laughs> that means, that, you know, you basically was Django, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit dude but that's a that's a big deal man and i've I, and i actually have been this way me and craig visions would go to sway yeah man well, y'all was real strict on the dress code at one point you know what i'm saying and you know I, it was hard to get in man, at some points but listen, I, I used to go to- i actually forgot at first we weren't even playing all hip-hop it was a, uh, it was top 40 when and was when was this way move when was this 2010 10 okay gotcha so we people got a time yeah, we, we showing that age now no no, no uh, we wheelchair bound we yeah. wheelchair bound we good yeah we showing yeah. uh yeah 2010 we started it off um but as the nights got busier and busier people were leaving because of the, like we'll play hip-hop and then all of a sudden it'd be like i don't know like Katy perry get played and everybody's like what what are you playing this for right. um so at one point we was just like oh, it's all hip-hop now what is, what is the like what makes promoting just like the bees knees, the bees wax, the bees juice? What is, what, why do you enjoy it? I haven't worked since 2009. Right. I haven't had a, I haven't clocked in since then. Uh, now, you know, <laughs> you know, specifically promoting is not always uh, is what it seems. It is, it's, it's tough. It's it tough. comes with a lot of patience is the best word to use. A lot of headaches. You've worked yeah. for a lot of a lot of uh interesting owners yeah well what we'll do is this you're doing suede you're doing mist mist on friday suede saturday right did i get that no, 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 no. right suede on friday suede on mist friday on saturday. Mist on saturday yes so those were successful situations for you yes what happens what happens as far as like did they did they did you move on to another spot? Oh, or? no. Both of the places closed um, mm-hmm. to make Maya and what's over there now? That's just with District. Is District still there? No, District's no, not there anymore, right? I don't right? over there anymore. Yeah, Maya, District. High Five. High, high Five is high there. Five. Yeah, high they, five they is built there. all them clubs. Yeah, they built all that. Okay. Um, but yeah, they closed for that. And then we moved over to, where did I go? I went to Ocean 7 right after. My God, that was a scary time in life. <laughs> Why was that a scary time in life? Um, not Ocean Seven, just not knowing where to go next. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, you you made it a certain way of living, and the way you lived was secured. And then when they shut down, it was just like, oh, yeah, I might go. It was almost like COVID. It was like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's time to go clock in. <laughs> um, but now we went over to Ocean Seven. Um, I dealt with some wild stuff over there. Then I met Corey. Yeah. Me and Corey ended up rocking with each other for a while for like a good year and a half. Moved over to a, a club called Roxy. I remember Roxy too. Yeah, yeah. Roxy. Man, I don't, Roxy and then good old Revolver. Good old Revolver, yeah. Yeah, and that's where yeah. I met you. Yeah, Revolver. yeah for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You, yeah, and eventually it turns into to getting me out of some, you know. It felt like I, I was... Uh, <laughs> Be careful now. <laughs> wait, it felt like I was in a, a... A lot of people don't know this, but I was in a 365 deal at our 360 deal at a, a record label. And they was they was getting over on me big time. And he said, "Man, you know they over there. You know they getting over. I can't say what I want to say. You know, so they getting I said, over, come over to death row with, <laughs> with no grease. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. And then we go over to international. And anybody that's been to international knows how legendary of a nightclub that was and that experience and going through that inside of international. This is a great thing because people here are going to and people outside and you know like." What is like, imagine international, we had everybody. So people, I'll set this up. We had anybody who's anybody a celebrity outside of like a Drake or when we had a chance for him, uh, outside of a Drake or a Beyonce or a Jay-Z, we pretty much had anybody that you can think of. And it was always, you know, from Thursday to Sunday, it was always uh, fun times for the people that came through the door. We, we stayed busy. It's an incredible environment for people to come in and, and have a good time. When we... Any celebrity that you can remember that came in there, you had a one-on-one DMX moment. Okay, yeah, okay, that was that's a one-on-one moment. Nice, bro. That was. What did he say? What do you remember? I remember, uh, but do you? Remember, I don't you remember the exact words. I just know it was. Uh, it wasn't like what was he saying to us? Yeah, I, you gonna have me chime in, but I don't want to just. You I know, can't remember what he said. I just remember. Well, I know he talked about um, how people stopped booking him, and he appreciated us for having him. 
come out there and, and perform and for us to keep doing what we're doing. And it was a weird moment because DMX is DMX to me, you know, yeah. and to see his face and to see like a little bit of like, I don't say full blown pain, just a little bit of pain in his face, but also some appreciation and some words, man. That shit meant a lot to me. It wasn't even like a regular, like, oh, good. Yeah, it was a real conversation. It was like, hey, y'all, come over here and talk to me real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool. Um, What about uh, your your best performance you've seen inside? uh, I don't know what the best one is, but my most fun performance was 50 Cent. For sure. 50 Cent. Why 50 Cent, though? Man, (laughs) he was jamming with us, looking at our phones while we was right next to him. He was jumping on stage, talking trash. Mm -hmm. It was uh, 50 Cent for sure. Yeah, he was on people's FaceTimes and everything. It was was wild. It was fun. And he was talking about he got on stage for free. You know what I'm saying? We got him. Oh yeah, we did get him for free. (laughs) You're not gonna be. (laughs) Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I think it was an old one, right? He owed us one. Yeah, yeah. He owed us one, and he he came Came there and jammed out. Yeah, it was it was pure pure fun. Um, so you enjoyed uh, Fifty Cent. Um, as far as a scale of like, damn, you're shocked to have them inside the club, or it could be athlete, it could be artist. Who would you say? Oh, uh, uh. The Warriors. The Warriors, yeah, yeah. Right when Kevin Durant signed, right? Yeah, they was Yeah. They was jamming in the middle of the dance floor. My man had his uh, had his shirt off with the 42. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everybody was in there having a good time. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it's that's really about more that the people enjoyed it though, because they was For sure. like, they were shocked on the floor. Yeah. Kevin Durant is on the floor. Yeah. Dancing, having a good time. Didn't uh, that's you talking about Draymond? He had his shirt <laughs> going nuts. Yeah. yeah, had his shirt off. I still got. I probably got that video. So I'm gonna try it. to add. Do you got yeah, it? I got it. Was- <laughs> yeah, I got it on my phone. Um. Yeah. Uh, T Pain was a big deal. Like when we had T Pain, uh, they almost got fired. Fantastic performance. What happened? Almost got fired. Remember? No, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, don't. We're not gonna get into it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost got fired that weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Dole, boy, Dole was not fucking with me at that time. Yeah. He was not fucking with me. You yeah, I had, to have, I had a whole separate meeting between everybody. You know, yeah. I feel, you know I got anyway, you. so I, I'll i jump the timeline ahead because I got a bunch of other stuff I want to talk to you about. Mm-hmm. I'll jump the timeline ahead. We go through, COVID was pretty much finished the situation. Well, I know there was a, a, a background thing where, the lease couldn't get signed and that's why international closes but COVID did a nice little one one two one two one two one two and that's what pretty much iced us at international right so mm-hmm. boom um post COVID mm-hmm. right where were you at downtown Phoenix downtown said, right? monarch and true yeah crazy time yeah you remember having the? Do we still have the plexi? No, we, did we still? When we moved downtown, did we? Did we still have the the plexiglass up? And was that a thing, or was there? I, I think we, I remember. I think having, we did on the, the side tables. Yeah, we had the plexiglass. Such a fucking weird. Uh, oh, it was so. It was so it was, I couldn't believe. It. Anyway, so and then down there we broke a lot of rules. There was a lot of fines given out. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> Sinbad missed the New Year's Eve. It got it got because we was walling out. <laughs> I remember I'm a, you know what, bro? That's a this is a perfect time to talk about this. During COVID, I feel like when we somewhat opened back up, at, at that time, people just stopped giving a fuck. Yep. Because we were in there, but we had our mm-hmm. mask on or we, you know, mm-hmm. elbowing. Man, people was in there drinking bottles after each other. I mean mm-hmm. kissing in the club. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is this still is the time where people were still, you know, still somewhat scared. Um we said, hey, you can come back outside. And everyone in Arizona said, I don't give a fuck no more. The rules is yes. out the window. Um, out the window. But New Year's, I remember you talking about New Year's. And I remember they was rushing that front door. And it got so bad and so packed. And you just had to let them go. They rushed up in that motherfucker. And mm-hmm. we somehow got it under control. Um, I had to, you know, cover John's wife. I had to oh, cover yeah. her. Because they was just like was that New Year's was that Halloween. That was Halloween. That was New Year- it was Halloween. It was Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was Halloween. We don't play about Halloween down here. <laughs> we gets down for the Halloween. Um, downtown. Did you think downtown would work when we were promoting? Did you think it would work? Not the way it did. Yeah, not the way it did. Uh, it was a lot of. A lot of terrible nights. Um, even when True first started, when we did True, 
man, we had like a good grand opening, a good month, two months. And then that motherfucker died on us. Yeah. And then it took some work. Yeah, it took some real work, a lot of money. Not from us. We didn't, at that time, I had to spend no money really. Oh, mm. yes, I did. <laughs> said, oh my God. Yes, was- I did. I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, it took a lot of work, a lot of effort from a lot of people to get that thing going. But once it once it got going, it was a it was, it was, it was a, rocking and rolling. Yeah, it was yeah. an oil machine. What would you say the difference was from downtown Scottsdale? The amount of the amount of money people will spend. Yeah, yeah, that's really though. That's really the only difference. Um, I guess you. No, nah, I don't want to say that. Um, just the amount of money people spend. People might dress up a little bit more in Scottsdale, also. Yeah, um, we couldn't get no celebrities, no, no, no athletes to come down. Oh, yeah, I wasn't trying to say that. Um, yeah, is that um, what you were saying? Yeah, it's it, the truth though. They yeah. won't come. It's, it's wild because down, downtown, they didn't did a lot with downtown. All right, downtown, they didn't did a lot with it, and you can't get an you can't get an athlete to sniff downtown outside of they got to play at the the Suns Arena mm-hmm. or they at the at the at the Diamondbacks. It was very very few that came in. Very few. Yeah, and downtown is down here is it's not. Scary, it's not spooky, you know. Uh, I've been to downtown Detroit. I ain't gonna say no more. <laughs> 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 I know Craig, <laughs> Craig probably heard that shit, no, but uh, <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of people out here from Detroit. They yeah, no, they do. Um, <laughs> so I, I want, I do want to get the timeline boosted. So we go downtown, and then there's a situation that happens for you. How do you end up becoming? your own nightclub, you know, an owner of a nightclub, you own your no, own, damn it, I can't say it, your own your own nightclub. How does that happen? You take us to the story, don't leave no details out. How does it happen, man? Uh, man. Because you what, you 47 and you own... <laughs> 36. 36. 36 and own a nightclub. Yeah. Um, me, Corey. And you're blackity black. Like you own, not blackity black in a bad way, but I'm saying like brothers get a chance. To hey, see. you know, listen. I they just get told a chance you, to see you. I want you to hear this, bro. I told you I was looking at pictures from my first event. Yeah. I was just going through my timeline. Yeah. And this person yesterday told me, dang, Shade actually looks light skin next to you. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm not. <dumb. laughs> What the fuck? I'm it's not, bro. Not at all. Not it's not even close like to it. Me, yeah, me. for sure. Light for sure. Next to me. For but sure. I'm sorry. I just had to throw that out there. It messed me up a little bit. <laughs> um, oh, uh, club. Me, me, Corey, bootleg Kev. Um, we were going back and forth on the location. Yeah. Because we had a potential opportunity of doing something downtown. Uh, and then we so had. There were two locations involved. Or was there three? Or was there more? Three. Mm-hmm. Three. Um, Downtown, we it just didn't seem to make sense. Yeah, because we knew if we opened something in Scottsdale, regardless of where it was, it's Scottsdale. Yeah. It's it's going to do great, right? Um, so <laughs> we opened up an LLC, and then it was a search to find the liquor license, and the liquor license came. And then after that, it was just pretty much be quiet, don't tell nobody, or don't tell a few people, uh, or lie to them and tell them that we're opening somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. And that uh that somewhere else got pretty popular because people can't hold water. Um <laughs> yeah. Uh and then yeah, we announced uh oh actually, man, we made a we made a page. Yeah. Said international was coming back and it, it man, it drew so much attention. Um and we were gonna bring international back. And, what made uh, you change from We had to. Oh yeah. Yeah, we had to. Yeah. But you know, we're happy, we're happy with the eleven eleven name. It uh, it's ours. Yeah. We're not that process for the liquor license was that was that gangster? Was that tough? Very much so. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> you can't be a felon. Um, you can't be a felon on a liquor license. You can't. I mean, you can't do a lot of stuff. Um, and it's a lot, a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. You want to talk about how much you pay for the liquor license? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Hundred thousand. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but if you try uh, to go on, if you if if anyone tries to buy one now because the price goes up, it seems like all the time. Yeah. A liquor license, if you can probably get one, it's probably like two hundred fifty grand. Mm. Yeah. Jeez, the wish. Two hundred grand. I don't. Know. It's gonna be it's still. Yeah. Man, it's still gonna hit. It's gonna it's range. Gonna, yeah. Still gonna hit. So you set it on location. Um, and you got two other partners, Bootleg, and you got Corey, who is a uh, VIP Enterprises. Um. Um, 
Mr. VIP AZ on Instagram and you got bootleg Kev, the very famous bootleg Kev, um, who just got his, uh, his radio show. If mm-hmm. I'm correct, is mm-hmm. just, um, taking off to another step, another higher level. Um, how do you even know bootleg Kev? Uh, he DJed with us. Um, he's DJ for Corey forever. Yeah. But, um, when we did the ocean seven thing, he was our DJ there every Saturday. Yeah. Um, he was on the radio then and just became came brothers, friends. That's what's up. Yeah, because it was 12 years ago. Yeah. Keep showing that age, man. Um, yeah. It's, it's, keep showing that age. I'm trying to stop you from showing the age. I'm just saying how, you know, how yeah, you know. No, we, we've been you rocking for a while. Some numbers on it and get a little funky, <laughs> yeah. man. So you uh, locked in with your three guys. Mm-hmm. And when you settled on a location, what made you choose the location that you guys landed on? We would have been open for Super Bowl. That's really what it was. Yeah, Super Bowl was Super Bowl was a big deal. Yes. It was by any means necessary. We need to be open by then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It gutting that thing out, because I remember it used to be uh uh Paris yes. before it turned into eleven eleven nightclub. And gutting that thing out, what was the 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 process for that? I mean, how do you I mean, seriously, like you say you got a location and it needs to be gutted. I mean, what was the first step you took for it? Oh, what was our first step? Taking pretty much all the lighting down. Yeah. We took all the lighting down and destroyed all the booths. Yeah. Um, man, it was just pretty much clear out the whole building. Yeah. I know out. you sent me a lot of ideas about um different different looks and stuff mm-hmm. like that. How'd you land on the look? Who helped you with the look? Uh, her name is Kelly. I don't know what her, her business IG name is. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly. Her name's Kelly. I she actually did an interview with her. I know who she is. She's if you go back 2020, you'll find an interview with her. Okay. Yeah. She's she helped designer. us out. Um she actually helped us out tremendously. Yeah. Um yeah, but she she pretty much got us like the layout of the club. Yeah. Uh the lights of the club were international. Yep. yep um yep. and then the side lights of the club were was another club that we're not gonna talk about. Um <laughs> <laughs> that we, we yeah, we got that idea from. I mean, it was a lot of hours, lots and lots of hours in that yeah. spot trying to get everything figured out. So, so we talking about, did you, did you have like a hand in like, um, you know, you better ask me something wild. No, <laughs> man, no, <laughs> man. I mean, so I remember the, the name process, mm-hmm. um, 11, 11, cause you know, there's another club is 11, 11, but you felt like there was some some separation from it. I'm assuming that's how you landed on. There's uh, a, they're spelled out 11. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ours, ours is numbers. There's probably another 11, 11 somewhere. It is. 11, 11 is a popular man. It's a popular thing. What? So if you go nationally and you look to see who owns that name. It ain't going to be nobody with us. Ooh. So that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Yes. When Super Bowl lands, mm-hmm. cause I know that, that journey to get the club up and functioning um, before, uh, well, you opened up New Year's Eve for, uh, was that going into 2023, right? That's the open up New Year's Eve yeah, to go yeah, into yeah. 2023. Yeah. Um, what were, what were some of just like some of the city hurdles? You know, what's crazy. Nothing. No city hurdles at they all. They gave us, they made us take these clouds down. And then you walked in the entrance. Um, they want us to take down like the grass stuff on the walls. Yeah. When it comes to opening, man, they were actually surprisingly very, very nice and lenient with us. Really? Yeah, it was it was super simple. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Um the only yeah, they were simple. Only issue we ever had really was uh who was the art? Oh, sexy red, my God. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Oh, I, I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, oh, oh. Super Bowl comes. Mm-hmm. Um we the the booking process for that because a lot of people don't know how bookings work and I'll use Super Bowl to because it's big time big names there's dollar bills involved. Um, how do your booking processes work when it came to Super Bowl? How did you lock in on who you wanted to lock in on? Who did you have Super Bowl? Bullet kept to care all that. <laughs> Listen, that man is the goat when it comes to this business. <laughs> when it comes to these artists. Uh, he took care of everything. Who do, who do we have? We have Fab Boom, mm-hmm. Boom, Thursday, Boom, right? Uh, offset, Friday was Offset, and Cardi B came through. Yeah, Bootleg, yep, yep. Meek Mill, Bootleg. Yep, and then uh, Sunday, wasn't um, ASAP Ferg that night? 
because uh, ASAP Ferg was there for for Meek Mill. Oh, he came that yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meek Mill had a lot of people show up. Yeah, yeah, the night of uh, Offset and Cardi B. Um, Tiffany Haddish was there. Yeah. Michael Blackson was there. Everybody that was pretty much a dagger for Cat Williams is there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> for uh, the, those processes of booking people, though, mm-hmm. you've booked people before, a million times. Yeah. yeah, have you gotten cooked on bookings? Uh, once, but this was long. I didn't even get cooked. Actually, what was the process? What what happened? Um, we sent somebody some money. So back in the day, if you look at, you want to book somebody, let's go, you go on Twitter and they'll usually have their booking email in their Twitter. And it was actually Meek Mill. And he was like, meekmillbooking.com was his actual booking email. Right. The person that I sent the money to had an S at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So we got the contract, contract like legit, sent the money. <laughs> when I sent the money, he was like, oh yeah, I got it. Boop. Uh, phone off. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. Um, so... I like 30 minutes. I'm just chilling after 30 minutes. You know, I'll start panicking and call my lawyer. Uh, actually, and my lawyer's like, go to the bank, tell him what happened. Tell him to freeze the account. I go to the bank and they're like, nah, your money gone. <laughs> <laughs> and my lawyer was like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm on speakerphone. My lawyer's like, all right, yeah, I'm gonna head up there. Um, because I know the money's not gone. Money gets sent out at this time. It's just a wire. They can freeze the wire. Uh, and they heard it. And they're like, oh yeah, you're right. We'll freeze it. Um, then they went to go look at their, the guy's account that I sent the money to. And you can just see a history of like, oh, this might be fraud. Uh, yeah, they were, <laughs> yeah, pretty much the account was fraud. And I remember the lady at the bank, she was just like, hey, he's getting pizza here. This is where the address is going to, the pizza is getting delivered here at this address. You can get your money here. This is where he keeps ordering stuff and it goes to this address. Yeah, oh. yeah, it gave me the address and everything. But nothing even, they froze it. They did their investigation. I got like, it was like $25,000 I got back. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Lesson learned? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. There's it's the industry is actually very, very small. Yeah. So if you dealing with somebody for the first time or you're you can call somebody and they can find out for you, like, yeah, this is legit. It happens actually all the time. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, and a lot so- of times now because the because the, the relationship either me, Corey, you, whoever booked or bootleg, um, the way we do business now is a lot different than probably what everybody else has to deal with because of the relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Relationships matter. Very much so. Okay. All right. Cool. So you, you, Super Bowl goes and passes the clubs up and functioning. Um, you proud of, you know, what it's turned out to be for us for this first, we've been shit. We went through a whole year. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud of what it has become. Um, but we got some work to do this year for sure. Yeah, yeah, we got some work. Some of the some of the more cool artists you had this year inside the club. Who who you enjoy? Damn, who would I enjoy the most? <sighs> Honestly, I enjoyed Cardi B the most, and she wasn't somebody we booked. She just yeah, showed up. Yeah, um, the energy was different for her. As soon as she hit yeah. the stage, they were. It was, it's, <laughs> it's hard. So a lot of times, if you get the right, I feel like you get the right artist to come through. People forget how to party. Oh yeah. They just they just stared. <laughs> yeah. And they were staring because they was like they couldn't believe that she like right here, I try to reach her, but they yeah. might shoot me. So <laughs> you have a year of eleven eleven. It's open, successful, it's running. And now you have a, a restaurant on the way. A restaurant, hookah lounge, yeah. yeah. Well seasoned. Well seasoned. Would it be here? Uh Within the next two weeks. <laughs> what, what, wait, wait, because I know y'all are going through it. What are some of the issues you're dealing with right now? Y'all, uh, I know y'all are remodeling on the inside. Liquor license, uh, remodel time, uh, equipment getting delivered, Restaurants equipment breaking. Though. It you is nervous because you know, nah, you know, you got Yelp, you got you got Instagram foodies, you got you know, food is different, man. It is. It it's is. a lot of pressure when it comes to food. I got. I'm. I'm in. Uh, have confidence in my chef. Um. I make a mean batch of beanie weenies. If you ever want me to put it on the menu, I make a mean batch of is beanie that, weenies. Is that vegan hot dogs? So listen, I am vegan, but back when I was a young lad, mm-hmm. I used to put in a pot of beanie weenies, of pork and beans and hot dogs. I put a little brown sugar up in that thing and I used to make it pate. I used to really smack that thing out the park. So anytime you want me to bring something ghetto fabulous to your menu, I right. got you, fam. I actually just seen this uh, meme <laughs> and it was 
the most legendary meal I used to have back in the days. It's like the little sausage with the bread and mustard. You just fold it together. Bro, I asked you what you used to enjoy back in the day, <laughs> and you me. didn't tell me. It hit me right now. <laughs> My God, that was a legendary meal. Hey, uh, what type? So I want to get back to well season, but what type of attention does uh? What type of car does an owner? (laughs) (laughs) An owner (coughs) of a nightclub at a restaurant drive. (laughs) Purple I8. It is the most annoying (laughs) thing. (laughs) It's the most annoying car to drive. Well, because it's purple. I made the mistake of making it purple. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Gotcha. gotcha, Yeah. And doors go up. Have you felt like the energy from people has changed from you? For you becoming, Uh, going from a promoter to an owner? A little bit. What does your job change from promoter? My job doesn't change very much at all outside of dealing with the- You cry more. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, as- (laughs) A lot of owners would say dealing yeah. with promoters are yeah. yeah. dealing with me is a, <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenge sometimes. The the attention from women, does that? The attention from women has it elevated. I am single now. So are you? Yeah. Yeah. The, the attention. Look in the camera. Just, Look in the camera right there. Yeah, I, I thought I've been looking the whole time. Yes. Yeah. You, um, you single. Yeah. I've been positive. Outside. Yeah. 1,000%. Okay. 1,000%. 1,000%. Right. Somebody got to put have, a ring I on have, the finger I first. Have no, we we'll have zero rules. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Now there's 20 of them that's going to DM you. There's 35 of them that's going to be upset and another 62 that's going to pull up. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of women. <laughs> that's a lot. I, I know Will you. Chamberlain would be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of women. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> 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 um, now, God. Now uh, look. Now, yeah. so everybody didn't listen. Listen, where we at? Okay, cool. We got another. We gonna do about another fifteen minutes. Now okay. listen. All right. So we got all that stuff out the way. You know, there's probably be some more stuff in there where I end up asking you. But listen, you're my friend, <laughs> right? So, do you remember making the journey from here to Bend, Oregon? To go to the last blockbuster. Oh, the, the, Dude, we went the, to the most racist place on earth. It yes. felt it felt like it was a lot of racism in there. Yes, I, re- I remember very you remember, vividly. Um, where did the where empty did, hotel that said they were at capacity? Yes, yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them how that process, how that go. <laughs> we we was tired, yeah. So we pull off the side of the road, try to go to the hotel, get some sleep. We in Oregon now, right? Yes. Yeah, we in Oregon. And uh, the guy at the front desk is like, "Yeah, we're uh, we're sold out." <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> what you boss what you mean and I was just like you know what I don't know this city. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 you know I don't know who's gonna come with a picket right you know, yeah, right yeah <laughs> we was just we go ahead to the regular Man, band yeah. going to bend and then but it, it, it was cool because going to the last block but you understand the last blockbuster on earth and how much that meant it was my so childhood. Fun. It was really cool. So fun. Then we met the lady, took a picture with the lady that was in the actual documentary that's on Netflix. You can go watch the documentary if you never watched. I think it dropped 2020, right? Yeah, during COVID sometime. Yeah, yeah. Dur- it dropped during COVID and met the lady. She was a sweet lady. And that experience is, uh, was crazy. Um, you, I understand you're moving there. To Bend, Oregon. To Bend, Oregon. Yeah, I understand you're moving there. You're, um, you're, getting, you're getting a condo. You're going to move up there. There is a lot of beautiful <laughs> women in Oregon. <laughs> Um, but I would never in life move to that place ever. And the way you said the women I like, no, <laughs> I would never move there. <laughs> uh, let me find, let me see. Um, <laughs> do you, I don't want <laughs> oh, to, I want to let y'all know something. Um, I'm probably mm-hmm. not doing it as much now. Shade. He does not believe in keeping his house cool at all. Everyone. No, uh, it's, it's, Dude, I have it. It's, uh, it's all good. We're good. We're cool now. Yeah, we're cool. Um, but we have done this multiple times, and you, bro, sorry. I have it at seventy one. No, it's fifty something degrees outside. It's it's you don't you don't feel Somebody. better. No, I'm good. You good? Somebody now? is. Somebody, yeah, really calling. Who is it? Uh, I don't can't know. can't do it, huh? Can't pick up the phone. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't I dare. Yeah, I, I know you I wouldn't, wouldn't dare. I almost, I almost did it, but no. Do you plan know. on getting a relationship anytime soon, man? Or you love living the Tony Stark type life? I don't know. I don't know. We're in a work in progress. Well, I know you. It's listen, man. I'm working on myself. 
There you go. Yeah. 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 You know, you got a couple of candidates. You Damn. Know? You got a couple of ca- no. Oh. <laughs> you don't want- Damn. <laughs> Oh my God! Is your parents proud of you for what you're doing, man? As it far as it is, look, I want to do it again. Look, I want y'all to see this. It's not 71. Oh, wait, it's not 71. It's not it 71. is 71, it's bro. It's not, bro. I, hey. You're sweating because you have the lights on you, and yeah, you're. I see your forehead yeah, glistening. It's not. I don't even feel like it's glistening, bro. It's all good. You're sweating mm-hmm. because you looked into that camera and you told them that you were single, sir. Do me a favor. Break it down a little bit. We're going, we're going to fire this up. No, no, no. We good. No, no. No, no. We good. We got to finish this up. We got. Don't be scared we now. We got 10 minutes. We got 10 so, minutes of fire. No, no. We good. We good. So uh, tell you me about that. You're a nerd, that. right? You should do that for me, though. I will. Please. You talking about pull yeah. the light down? No. The, that thing. The AC? Yeah. Make me comfortable here. Come on. I'm going I'm to I'm light it up. Just do You're it. You're a nerd, me. man. Talk to me about it. Talk to me about your life. So I'm actually getting a tattoo for Stranger Things. It's going to say 11 like the character. Wait, um, are you serious? Yes. Really? Man, you brought it all the way down. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm getting it. So the only reason I'm not going to do it, yeah. or I'm debating on not doing it, is because everybody keeps telling me that getting tattoos on your wrist right here, numbers, it's like the mark of the beast. Wait, is that a real thing? I have no clue. I'm a Christian. I don't know. Wait. I know I know the mark. I know certain <clears throat> numbers. We all know. Right. Certain numbers. Yes. Yeah. But if I just put 11. That's not bad, right? I didn't. I Let's don't. Let's look it up, motherfucker. That's why we. I don't that's know. Why we got phones, nigga. Know. Let's look it up. Shit. Um. Let me see. Uh. Let me see here. Tattoos on, on wrist. Inner wrist. Inner wrist. Yeah. Inner um, wrist. What's it? We said you said some devil stuff. Yeah. Some devil stuff. Okay. Let me see. Uh, devil. Oh man, no nothing. No, you say you, you, you type in. Yeah, see? I did nothing. I think we might get kicked off of Instagram for saying this. Did you uh type in Mark of the Beast? No, I, okay. I don't want to yeah, do you're that. You're right, you're right, you're right. Did you see what Aaron Rodgers was talking about? You see what's going on with Aaron Rodgers? No, because it's just because we talking about that. So you saw he said that <clears throat> you ain't you ain't watched you ain't seen nothing about Pat Mag Pat McAfee show and and Aaron Rodgers. No, nah, my cable's gone. Bro, you have the same stuff as me, bro. <laughs> what is it called that you use in your own home? Well, that's that's private information, okay. and I can't share it with the public. But he basically was talking about how, um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, Jimmy Kimmel was going to uh, Jimmy Kimmel was going to end up being on the Epstein list, and it was the most w- wildest thing. He said that, yeah, bro. And so Jimmy Kimmel got word of it, and he was he was ticked off, and so he went on and did his monologue on the show, kind of you know was putting them nukes down mm-hmm. on on Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers then responded and just pretty much made it even more weirder. And I've never, I was sitting there thinking to myself, I was like, I've never really listened to Aaron Rodgers speak. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't, I don't like this dude. Really? And I was, he's a great quarterback. Yeah. Fantastic quarterback. I was like, I don't, I don't really like this dude. And I, I, I say that to you because you watch a lot of sports and you also believe in aliens. Um, that has nothing to do with absolutely any. <laughs> hey, are you good, bro? Your phone, man. I don't know what's going on right yeah. now. Yeah, you um, sure? Yeah, I'm very sure. You know what's crazy? What's this that? is a good topic, right? I don't know what. There's no reason to call anybody five times, six times, seven times in thirty minutes. Is this the camera? Right here? It could be emergency. Yeah, they looking. You know, uh, it's not an emergency. If you don't have my last name. There's no reason to call that much ever in life, ever. You a texter or a caller? You prefer text or call? If I care about you, you can mm-hmm. call me. If I don't care, do not call my phone. Just text. Because most of the time it's textable. But it's most of the time it's textable. Usually, yeah. when people call multiple times, there is a there is an importance to it. Would you like to prove this? On, would you like to do a live phone call? No, no, no. I don't want to because I I think that that shit's going to turn into a tornado bomb, and I don't want. Any part <laughs> both, both phones as we speak are going Listen, off. Only important people got both phone numbers. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, can the Warriors rebound? Oh, we can God. finish this off, man. You know, we can the Warriors rebound? All the important people have both phone numbers. Um. <laughs> 
The Warriors. They can't. Unless they trade somebody, they got to get rid of. Who would you want to get rid of? At this point? Yeah. Everybody. Nah, but you, Steph Curry. You're, no, I want Draymond still. Of course. Draymond, Steph, everybody else can go. Chill out on trigger. They bring all. Bring it back. Bring it back. They bring it back. all can go. And you saying chill out on them? You would take you yeah. would take the trade if it was nice. It, yeah. If it's it had I don't I, again, I talked to you before. I would never trade Clay. Okay. You uh, a a knockdown three point shooter is a, a is is luxury hey. in the NBA. Luxury. Recently, Clay looks like me on No Job Mondays. <laughs> oh, you are the only thing, only reason I allow <laughs> two of them in a row than air ball. The, <laughs> Only reason I allow the uh, Clay Thompson slander on this fantastic podcast is because um, when he did come to international, he promised me a pair of his shoes Mm -hmm. and he never followed through. That'd be the only reason I allow outside of, I believe that uh, a three point shooter in the NBA is absolute gold. A knockdown. You can't get rid of them. You need to keep them. Um, It's just, it's a for sure, you know? Don't look at me like that. Just just accept it and say you'll get rid of the Wiggins. You'll get rid of the. the I don't want to get rid of Kaminga. I actually enjoy Kaminga. No, nah, Kaminga can stay but home. If baby. we have to, I would. You get rid of Looney. The whole. Oh nine. my god! Listen, I actually get rid of Gary Payton Jr. now, and I'm not. And I'm because he okay. can't because yeah. he can't stay on the court. Oh, yeah, you got to oh, man. Is there anything? Is there anything you want to share with everybody that you haven't? You know, you haven't dove into. Random. I always forget this. You're a Target guy, right? Like Target or You like Target? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, imagine you have the opportunity to go into Target. You go shopping. Um, you could take three celebrities with you, dead or alive. Who are you going shopping mm-hmm. inside the Target with? Dead or alive. Do I get the reactions of everybody when I'm walking in the store with them? Uh, if you want to, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Tupac. Okay. Probably Hitler because of where you're from, oh. right? No, I'm just <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> Would you really? Donald Trump. Donald Tupac, Trump. Tupac and Malcolm X. Malcolm X. What are you doing? Making it interesting. It's that you just it's that's, gonna be it's gonna be a that that's not even shopping. You don't even shop off of that. Not. That's We're just gonna have a legendary day. That's just something, man. So somebody comes up to you, young cat comes up. That whatever that combination was, that's insane, by the way. Somebody come to see man. I want to. I want to get into nightlife. I want to promote. Um, I really want to be in the status because there there are levels. Like they, we call them sub promoters, where they're you know they help out, and then you get to a status of being an actual promoter. You're on a weekly, and you making promoter money. They they want to get into that business. What do you tell them? Damn, you got it cold in this motherfucker. Go ahead. It is right now. It is. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's. Wait, what did you say? It's frosty. It's frosty. <laughs> Something's wrong with you, bro. You have issues, man. <clears throat> you put me on mute. <laughs> Talk to Thad. No, tell him, man. How? I, how? Listen, this is an ugly business. Man, it, it come, a, yeah, tell him. It's an ugly, ugly business. Um, if you're a hothead, if you if you expect things on time, my God. Um, if you're not patient, don't do it. If you can, if you can build some patience. And you're willing to just deal with a lot of bullshit for a little you, bit of money at first. Yeah, you work with some crooked owners. Some Man, owners. What's some of the owners you dealt with? with owners, some of the promoters, yeah. bottle people, bartenders. I've worked with. It's, we live. We work in probably the most disgusting. Ah, I can't say that because I know the music industry is crazy. But we work in one of the most like you see the worst out of humans. I think yeah. as a, as a promoter. Or, um. Yeah, just have just have patience if you want to get into it, and it's not just partying for a living. It's far, far from that. Yeah. If it is partying for a living, you ain't going to last that long. For sure. Yeah. So they want to work for you. How can they get a job with you? They can't right now. Yeah. Uh, we just we got a big team right now. So it wouldn't it'd just be pointless. How'd you put your team together? How do I put our team together? Two of the guys we've been working with forever. Um, and then all the, the, let's just say, the promoters that we brought on after. Uh, Nadia. Nadia was just a... Uh, how do I just, how do we bring in Nadia? Nadia was just, she just deals with women very, very well. Um, our bottle service girls, waitresses, other women in the city. She's a very liked person. Zay P is, 
Mr. Outside. He's just like being outside. He is the actual definition of what a promoter is. Um, Don Miliano, he's real into the fashion industry, so he brings a different dynamic to the table. Real good with uh, video and photography, things like that. Who else we got? <laughs> JT. <laughs> JT is also the definition of a promoter. That's what's up. Um, he's the turn up guy. <laughs> he's he, is, turn up. he is the turn up guy for sure. Let me ask you something. Yeah. It's a bottle service question. Um, being what we used to know as far as how bad, how mean potentially bottle service girls can be to each other, mm-hmm. right? Being more inside of it, is this your staff that you have now? Have you seen any of that? Or you feel like this has been one of the... So I know women want to be in a uh, bottle service and, you know, coming from your perspective as an... You know, yes, but I can't go into details with it. Yes. Not not as bad because before it's been... It's been... It's been, it's been brutal. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's some... Yes. You still see some, some nasty stuff, but that's... For the women that might want to get into it, is it easy? No, um, no, it's not easy. That's the best way to put it. You just, you know, people ask all the time. Um, you have to be someone that wants to go to the gym, wants to be outside, can con- control your alcohol, be comfortable with, cause somebody's going to grab you, uh, have to be comfortable with it until we were able to fix the issue. Um, just be level headed and work crazy hours. Crazy, crazy hours. But, you know, you only work like four or five days a week. Four days, really. Um, actually, you don't even work that much because nobody really gets every day. So three days a week and you probably make make some decent money. They don't go all into their business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, is owning, I, I, I'll end with this and I, I probably won't end with this, but is owning lived up to your expectations? No. No, I've, uh, no, it's actually, uh, I was warned this, but I didn't believe it, but it's actually caused relationship issues with people. Explain. Uh, people don't realize that I'm part owner. They just think I'm owner. So I can just do whatever the hell I want. And I can't, we have a, we have a team. So if one of my team members says, nah, I don't want this. They don't understand that I'm not going against the team, no, regardless of who you are. Um, even if I am going against the team, I have three partners. So if two of my partners are like, ah, we don't, we don't, we don't like this one, then I, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, and people don't understand that at all. You found that a lot of um, a lot of folks have <laughs> their energy has changed toward you. No, uh, not inside the building. Not inside not, the not, building. not inside the building. No, outside. Actually, what do you mean? The, the people, the people I actually care about. Yeah. There's been a few people. Yeah, there that have have changed. I'm just like ah, yeah. You know that kind of sucks. Right. Um, but for the most part, the people I actually talk to on a daily basis were still still the same. Ain't right. really changed. But you feel like the energy on the outside has changed from people. Is, oh is it, yeah, it's coming in. Like if they don't, if they're not talking to me every day. Oh yeah, that energy is way different. Really? Yeah, yeah, for sure. They they think they just pretty much think I can do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, yeah. And it's not it's not like do people that. think you change at all since you've gotten into uh-huh. this position. Yeah, I've heard it a couple of times. Really? Yeah, they they, they I tell them like, what is it? And they're like, oh, just your energy. You have different energy around you. I don't know. You still feel like you're the same person that you were before um, stepping into this position? Yeah, I still wait in line to get in my own club. I see yeah. you do it actually. Yeah, it's not a, it's nothing changed. Could be. Yeah. I was sitting there behind him, like, bro, just <laughs> yeah, just lift the rope up, bro. Yeah, regular, you know, regular human, like, kill ball, man. Nothing, just man. lift the goddamn yeah. rope up, bro. Ain't, ain't nothing changed. Yeah, I cut people off probably a little easier. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that's probably about it. Because you, you know you don't want. That's not even the owner thing. I think it's just just growing. You yeah. want to just deal with people that you bring you down or just have negative energy towards you. It's just. Just cut it off. Makes right. life easier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you, you've always been a chill cat. Always been chill. How have you gotten to, like, you don't see, I've only seen you mad on the basketball court. I don't think I've even seen you mad in meetings. I've seen you mad in meetings, but 
it's really just a basketball court where you want to fight and square up um, with everybody. <laughs> How do you maintain your calmness? How do you maintain that positive energy? You're a, every time I see you, you you like, oh, it's a happy day. It's like you're, you know, kind of like uh, leave it to Beaver's dad. You know leave what I'm saying? It, leave it to Beaver's dad. Huh? You know, you're just a very. How do you maintain that positive energy? Quite a bit. Yeah. And when you see how other people live, yeah, there's really nothing for us to complain about. Mm-hmm. Man, there's more to it. You know, I'm a godly man. Okay. Yeah, but you you realize, like, not to put your business out here, we're in a very nice apartment right now. Yeah. We really don't have, like, we be like, oh, man, I'm broke. I'm about to go downstairs, go get me a little, <laughs> a little surprise. <laughs> you know, like, there's a lot of people who be like, I'm broke. I don't know about to eat. Yeah, you know, for we, sure. We, that, that, ain't, that ain't us. We ain't nowhere near. Just, it's not even just that. We ain't got no kids. That's actually a stress for me, not having kids, but yeah. that added stress look, ain't, is it in my life. I mean, you brought it up. You're looking to have kids this year, man. Uh, by the end of 2024, somebody going to be pregnant. Can you look at the camera? Oh, somebody going to be pregnant, for sure. This might, it might be. 2024. Somebody's pregnant. I'm going to beat you. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. I plan on, you know, I, hope, I plan on doing that in February. You I know? hope so. I like to have a Christmas kid. You know what I'm saying? Valentine's? Okay. Christmas kid, man. You know, so listen. You have a son name picked out? Uh, Giovanni. Um, not bad. Be careful. You're a rich nigga's name, bro. Because when people, <laughs> it's not it's not Christmas. When people get people pregnant on Valentine's, those are Scorpios. And Scor- are you serious? Those are the, Wait. They're the nastiest humans on this earth. Oh, it is. It's Trust me. You do not. So it's, I got to do it in March. Yeah. March. Yeah. March. Especially, okay, you know, okay. You're, you're, March. Can I say? Can I say like how you feel? How you're feeling in, in life? Yeah. You're in love. So yeah. when you're in love, you have daughters. Um. Oh, so you saying I should just don't have not, a Scorpio? Don't daughter. love her no more. Just because <laughs> I because I want to have a son. That's yeah. what I know now. Look, hey girl, get the fuck out of my face. But before you go, let's have some sex. You know? Okay, I got you. Okay, no, you just cool. can't make love. While you do. You, you know, gotta, basically you gotta be aggressive. do what my dad did. You know what I'm saying? Have sex, leave, never hear from him again. <laughs> oh my god! And then you know you end up you know. D- oh my! Yeah. Oh man! Good luck to your 49ers this year, man. Um, Listen, I, if the Niners win, I hope you put this podcast out before this. If the Niners, I'll, I'll do it for sure. If the Niners win it. this Super Bowl, you have to come to the club. Because what movie was it? Remember Spider Man when Spider Man saved everyone that carried him out? Yeah. On yep. top. Yes, that's going to be everyone that wants to celebrate mm-hmm. with. We're all getting carried out that day. It is going to be a monumental time. And it's it's going to be necessary. Right. You you didn't celebrate like you should have when the Chiefs won. Um, I don't have any friends to celebrate. You know, I'm down here. I don't have any Chiefs friends to celebrate. I don't drink. And so it was like all I could do was eat vegan cookies and scream and shout. After that, you know, put up a post, you know, <laughs> that was pretty much about it. You know, what you <laughs> cookies. Hey, they, they're good. You know, you're uh, oh, oh, yeah, you got I don't give a fuck. This is my shit. You got eat, sit, play going on. What is eat, sit, play? Oh, shit. Can I not talk? I don't give. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Eat, sit, play is uh, it's me and a friend of mine. We're just traveling around Arizona. Um, <laughs> we're traveling really around laughing. Arizona, <laughs> traveling around Arizona, trying food. Yeah, trying new alcoholic places, nice. uh, special events. Um, yeah, you're gonna, a foodie. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a foodie, it's a foodie page, but it's gonna be more than that. We're just putting out just dope events um, going on in Arizona. That's cool, man. Um, it's you know m- multiple people do it. Um, some of the places you've been already. I know you've been to a few. You know, I've been to a few, huh? Yeah. Thanks, but thanks. yeah, I mean, I, I put the video. Friend. <laughs> um, we went to a place called Kala, not Kala. Oh, we did go to Kala. Yeah, uh, Pala, Pala downtown, Pyro. Um, mm, I forgot the little uh, Kim, Kimbora. Yeah, um, Bitter and Twisted, uh, AZ eighty eight, and that's it so far. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right, dope man. Easy to play. Can you tell the audience? When you think that we'll, we'll end with this, when you think uh, well seasoned will be open, right? 
Mm-hmm. And then I want to go ahead and drop them your information where they can find you and your social medias and stuff like that. And any added information you want to drop real quick. Well, season should be open within the next, it'll either be this coming Sunday or next Saturday, okay. which is, I don't know the date in my head right now, 11, 12, 13, 14. The 14th or the 21st or 20th. On, on that well season menu, what's one of your things you're looking forward to people trying? Just, y'all got a crazy menu that I think. Our mac and cheese eating. bowls. That's that's the thing. What's I want. In the, just a straight mac and cheese bowl? So you, you, you can do the traditional mac and cheese. They got the, I think it's like a surf and turf. Where you just, surf and turf? What's <laughs> surf and turf? <laughs> it's just steak and, and uh, like shrimp. Okay. Yeah, surf. I think is. I think surf is like. Oh, the I got water. you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah, surf yeah. and turf. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got shrimp and what else in there? Like some steak. Okay, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. So, but, but the that's, mac and cheese bowls, we got bacon ones. It's, it should be true, pretty legit. I know y'all got like a, a lamb chop joint up in that joint. Yeah, yeah, we got some lamb chops. Yeah, it's gonna be that kind of food in Scottsdale is gonna be interesting. I'm yeah. Like, and what are the days y'all gonna be open? Right now, first starting off, it's gonna be Thursday through Sunday. Thursday through off. Sunday. Oh, we got acai bowls in there too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, healthy yeah. open there, but and, yeah. that, and that's during the day, and that's that that is that's also a, open Thursday through Sunday. Nah, he's gonna he's gonna be open probably Tuesday through Sunday. Tuesday through Sunday. Oh, nice. Yeah, so yeah, people yeah. can always go. Pre- Come in there and Tuesday get your Tuesday acai Sunday, bowls. Yeah. Acai bowls. That's what's up. Sure. Who would you set up for that? Did you? Oh, wait. Did you Did you set up the the, um, the hamburgers? Uh, no, we don't know what's going on with that okay. right now. All right, all right. Yeah. But uh, who would you set up with the acai bowls? His name is Devin. Um, his company is called. Woo, that's terrible. Berry Berry Divine is the one that's that we already go to. Okay. Um, I don't know. What it, I don't even know what it's called, y'all. This sounds terrible. Am I, can I look it up right now? Of you can look it up, it up, man. You have to. You have to smoke that. Um, I'm not smoking nothing. Okay. This this day in you you an honest man. Is, uh, you know what I'm saying? You an oh, honest very man. very best. Okay. Very very best. Okay. Yes, yes. I was close. That's cool, man. You got the acai bowls, and you expect mm-hmm. it to be if it's not this Sunday, next Sunday, next Saturday, next Saturday. I'm sorry day. about that. That's the grand opening that yes. you're gonna do. Um, you want to drop the information. Where can they get you on Instagram? Davion GQ Jones, pretty Davion much G- everywhere. Right. Yeah. You think you think you're uh, a movie connoisseur, you're not. You think you're a TV show connoisseur, you're not. All right, where can they find you? Is there anywhere else they can find you? Twitter? <laughs> or- can, can we test that out? Yeah, okay. I ain't got a number time. Name, test- name, name your top three shows. Oh, it's changed. Uh Breaking Bad, Sons of Anarchy, and Stranger Things got me now. Why Breaking Bad? It's the only TV show I've ever watched where there's less than one bad episode. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sons of Anarchy is just different. It's not something that most black people watch, um, but it has every emotion, anything that you want to think of in a TV show it has. And it's mm-hmm. not about just just drugs. Gotcha. Um, Stranger Things is self-explanatory. Yeah. I'm a nerd. It soundtrack to the, to the TV shows. Yeah. Yeah. Acting, yep. the villains. Talk to him. Is, Talk to him. You're not done. There you go. He said you're not done. <laughs> you're seeing kids grow up to. It's just yeah, it's, you. It's, you, it's fan fucking fantastic. There you go. That was not my childhood as a kid. But all right. So then your top three movies. It's frosty in this bitch now, ain't it? Oh, I'm good. This is yeah. You know, it's, you, it's cold. You, you no, it's cold. I'm cold. Nigga. Yeah, no, it's you cold. Um, top three movies. Mine is corny though, bro. My top three movies. All right. Ah, oh, Shay, don't clown me here. It's probably uh, Independence Day. Um, Love and basketball. And uh, I gotta throw something at least that got some some stank on it. Uh, poetic justice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know my. I don't know. I don't have a. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. The Matrix. The Matrix is my third. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forgot about Matrix. Man. Matrix. I, I it give takes you Matrix. Over, it takes over I, my all life. All the movies you named are classic movies. I'm not mad at them. I just, you know, when I think of something that has stuck with me. For sure, The Matrix. Mm-hmm. Love and basketball because I'm a cake. And uh, yeah, Independence Day was my that was my shit growing up. Give me an off the wall movie. Give me something that people wouldn't expect you to like that you like. Needle in it. Needle in the time stack. He had never even heard. Man, of it. Yeah, that was you come right out of a Needle comic book. book. Check it out. Check it out. Needle in a time stack. Yeah, if you if you uh, got a date night, you want to hang out with your lady. Needle in a time stack is on Amazon Prime. Really? Yep. And you liked it. I enjoyed it, bro. Name me a TV show that, you know, people would be unexpected that you like. Banshee. Oh, yeah. It was, that was uh, um, Nef- uh, not Netflix, Cinemax, right? Yeah, yeah. What's a little HBO Max now? Yeah, HBO Max. Or, or just Max. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Banshee. Y'all enjoy Banshee. It's incredible. 
You think so? Yeah. It's not on no more though. So it's not nah. it's not too it had like seven, six seasons, six seasons. Oh, okay. That's a nice run. I'll mm-hmm. give it to you. That's a nice run. I always mm-hmm. think I always think shows should should tap out after five. Actually, Teen, five or six. Teen Wolf. You like Teen Wolf? I did. Yeah, Teen, Teen Wolf. My, I like that type of shit, though. You know what I'm saying? People wouldn't know. I was watching. Yeah, they wouldn't know. They MTV, they, they see you as a power guy. You know what I'm saying? They see you as a ghost guy. You know, Medea guy. You know what I'm saying? They don't really see Medea. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite disrespectful. As my brother, ain't nothing wrong with Medea, friend. bro. Bro, <laughs> I mean, I want to say we've been, yeah, we've been chatting. Uh, anything else you want to add, man? It's been fantastic. I do people, like people, I do have a people got a chance to know you. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. I just said it. What'd you say? I do. Uh, that's my type. That's all. So let's just do this. Okay. All right. How did you land on the, uh, how can I put the, inf- the, the, the love okay. for <laughs> you? Hey, listen, come on. You ready? Yeah. Fresh gonna be proud of you for this one because uh, he gonna he gonna light it up. How'd you land on the love for Asian women, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? I really appreciate y'all <laughs> listening to uh, Seasonable Cloud. I am Thaddeus Shade. I'm with my special guest Davy G Q Jones, G Q Jones, Jones. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all for listening, man. Uh, thank you, brother, for coming through. Um, I saved you a ton of daggers, and this is uh, that's it. <laughs> appreciate you. Yeah. I have been on a Starbucks strike when it comes to tea because these motherfuckers ain't got no honey. And I know about a month ago, I was complaining about these some bitches not having no honey. These some bitches still ain't got no honey. I said it again. These some bitches still ain't got no honey. They ain't got no honey, man. I go there, they ain't never got no honey. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to make my own medicine balls at the house because I don't really drink tea, but I would tear a medicine ball up. I said, I'll make my own tea at the house. So then I go, right? And I'm like, okay, what is a medicine ball, right? I go look and it's, uh, what is that shit? It's like a, it's Tiavana, Tiavana, Tiavana. I don't know, Tijuana. I know that's where you get marijuana. 